What is going on, everybody? Welcome to a brand new edition of Trailer Talk, the show where I give you my reactions to the latest big movie trailers that have hit the interwebs. Today, I've got trailer reactions for Alien Romulus, Beetlejuice 2, and the HBO Max series, The Penguin. Yes, I know it's TV, but it has to do with the Batman. This is a continuation of that movie, so I get to cover it. I get to choose. So let's get started. Now, before I jump into my reviews, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, what are you doing? Subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my videos. Plenty more fun movie related content headed your way. So thank you in advance if you do happen to subscribe. Now, first up today, we've got the teaser trailer for Alien Romulus, which is a continuation of the Alien story. This is coming to us from director Fede Alvarez, who did the remake of The Evil Dead, and he also did Don't Breathe, two movies I really enjoyed. And this is someone who I think is a fantastic horror director. Now, this teaser trailer does an amazing job setting up the atmosphere of this new Alien movie, which looks like it's definitely returning to the roots of that first Alien movie, that claustrophobic space horror film. I mean, all the corridors are dimly lit. It looks like we're back on a new spaceship or maybe a spaceship we're very familiar with. And there's face huggers, there's aliens, there's everything we've come to know, expect, and love from this franchise. And it looks bloody, it looks gruesome, it looks visceral. It looks like a classic Alien movie. And Alvarez, I think, is the perfect choice to tackle this material because he knows how to do horror. He knows how to build suspense. He knows how to create atmosphere. He knows how to properly utilize great sound design. And this trailer definitely gets me more excited for a new Alien movie than I have been in a very long time. I wasn't a huge fan of the Ridley Scott sequels, so I was looking for a breath of fresh air, and it looks like we're getting it here. I cannot wait for this movie, which I think hits theaters this August. Great teaser trailer. does a great job setting up the atmosphere, the chills, the suspense, the, the gore. I am so in. Let me know in the comments what you think of this trailer. Up next is probably the biggest trailer that dropped this past week, and that was for Beetlejuice 2, a.k.a. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. This is the return of Michael Keaton as the titular character. We have Tim Burton back behind the camera. We have Renona Ryder back. We have Jenna Ortega thrown into the mix. And this is a continuation of the story from that classic original film. I still can't believe this movie exists. I can't believe this is a thing. I can't believe it's coming out this year. It's... It's wonderful. And the fact that we've gotten all these key players back, especially Keaton back as Beetlejuice, is huge. And it feels, ah, it feels wonderfully nostalgic. Keaton has not lost a single step as the character. He's only given one line in the trailer to say, you know, the juice is loose. And I think he absolutely crushes it just with his little pose, which he looks and sounds like he hasn't aged a day as the character. I cannot wait to see him back as this iconic <laughs> character. And the rest of what I'm seeing in the teaser trailer, they don't show you much, which is great because it's supposed to tease you. It's not supposed to show you way too much, but I'm loving the atmosphere. It feels like a Beetlejuice movie. The Tim Burton vibe is all over this thing. You know, we get little glimpses of Winona Ryder and her daughter who's played by Jenna Ortega here. There's some sort of funeral. We get to hear that classic song that was at the dinner scene playing throughout the trailer, which I thought was a really nice touch. And it looks like the atmosphere is completely still there. It looks like it's just more modernized, but in a good way. And I, I honestly can't wait for this movie. I, I can't believe it's actually hitting theaters this September. You know, we don't really get much of story details in this trailer, which is fine because it's just a great tease just to let audiences know this movie's happening. It's real and it's coming to theaters this year. And I think it does a great job just kind of reminding you why you love the original film and getting you excited for a new part of this story. So yeah, love this teaser trailer. Cannot wait to see what Tim Burton has in store for us come September. Really excited about this one. But let me know in the comments what you think of this trailer. Definitely curious to hear your thoughts. And last up today, we have the trailer for the HBO Max series, The Penguin, which is a continuation of The Batman, the Matt Reeves film that starred Robert Pattinson as Batman and had Colin Farrell as The Penguin, who returns here as the character, as Oswald Cobblepot. Cobblepot? <laughs> Cobblepot. Yes, that's correct. And everything I'm seeing from this series, especially this trailer, this is, does a fantastic job setting up the mood, the atmosphere of the series, which looks like it's going to be like a mob series akin to like The Sopranos, because it really feels like Colin Farrell is really channeling his inner Tony Soprano here in this teaser trailer. I mean, it absolutely has the look, vibe, and feel of Matt Reeves's Batman film. It absolutely feels like it takes place in the same universe. I mean, it honestly feels like Matt Reeves directed it himself. He might have directed some of the episodes. I'm not sure, but it absolutely looks like a continuation of that universe and of that story. And just everything here from the performances to the quick cuts to, you know, certain visuals, it looks chilling. It looks intense. It looks very violent. And it looks like another breath of fresh air from Matt Reeves and company. And Colin Farrell continues to look incredible as his character. I mean, not only is the makeup absolutely breathtakingly good, but Colin Farrell's performance is so damn good as his character that I honestly have to keep reminding myself that it's him under all of that makeup because he's so good here. And this teaser is so simple. It's just 
him telling the story of a former crime boss who was remembered and gained so much respect, you know, as this plays over plenty of other visuals from the show and key players. And I just think it's a great way of teasing this show and teasing the mood that it's going for and the kind of show it's going to be. I cannot wait for this show to hit Max this fall. I mean, I absolutely loved Matt Reeves' The Batman film. It's actually my just favorite Batman movie, period. I just think he absolutely nailed the character and the universe that that character inhabits. And his version of The Penguin, you know, coupled with Colin Farrell's performance as the character is probably the best iteration of the character. I know people love Danny DeVito. I love him too. But I think Colin Farrell adds some really fascinating, interesting new wrinkles to the character that I can't wait to see him explore more in this series. I think there's a great teaser trailer that really makes me want to see a whole lot more. So let me know in the comments what you think of this trailer and let me know in the comments what you think of all of these trailers. Which one was your favorite? Which one was your least favorite? Let me know in the comments section below. I always want to hear your thoughts. And if you want to follow me on social media, guys, you know, put my handles at the bottom of the screen as per usual and they'll be in the description as per usual. And make sure to follow my film podcast, Film on Tap, where every other week I get together with my buddies. We talk about movie news, trailers, we review movies, we go on weird, wild, hilarious tangents. It's a blast. Links to that in the description as well. And until the next episode, guys, I'm Tom Chattelbash, YouTube's most reliable movie critic.